we're going to take some scraps and a notepad and we're going to make some beautiful embellishments for our March Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. This is our mini challenge in the challenge 3.2. 22. Stay tuned for details. Hi everybody, it's Julie and here we are. It is Monday and that means mini challenge in the challenge and today we are going to be making one of my favorite things that we make. We're going to make our patchwork tags but we're going to be doing a little differently so I want you to pay attention and so here we go. We are going to be using five larger scraps. I have a large tag from a Dear Julie Julie um, digital. And so that is going to be, you want your pages to be at least as wide. We're making large tags, you guys. So remember your mini challenge in the challenge can be for this journal that you're working on or for any project that you have that needs some ephemera or possibly for something that's coming up or for happy mail to send to others, okay? So I'm taking five things that I, five scraps that match things that I have, um, that I've been using, okay? So I have a piece of uh, paper pad, um, scrapbook paper, Okay, it is double-sided, that doesn't matter. I want this side. I have a piece of um, avocado dyed paper. I have a piece of the masking paper. I have a piece of the map. And I have my digital tag, uh, digital large tag. So let me tell you in case um, you don't have ones because this is a requirement. You need to use a digital in this from a Dear Julie Julie um, digital. Okay. And remember there are free digitals in the file section of the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. So we are three and a half by, let's see, that would be eight eight and a quarter. Okay. We are going to cut it down a little bit, but three and a half by eight and a quarter approximately. Okay. Um, so your five pieces need to be bigger than that. Okay. Um, so then you also want note papers. Okay. Or you can use some other papers that you have. These are eight and just say they're about eight and a quarter also by three and five eighths. Okay. Eight and a quarter by three and five eighths. And we're going to cut these down also. So, but you, this makes it easy because they're already ready for you. So let's go ahead. Remember we're using our stash and this is something that many of us have in our stash or somewhere in our home. And remember, you can always use the other side instead if you need to. Stamp it, stencil it, do something like that to it. Okay, so we're gonna take our, we've already measured this and it was three and a quarter. So let's go ahead and get our pages so that they are three and a quarter. Now what I'm gonna do here is, there's three, there's a quarter, I'll go down that. I'm, I'm glad because I really want the numbers. <laughs> okay, I am going to cut this down. I'm going to cut. So I will give you the final measurement after I get this of what mine's going to be. Okay, so you start with the tag. And those are strips. So let's see how, how big this ended up. It's seven. Okay, so seven inches. Okay, so I can go ahead and start by cutting my pieces to seven inches because I know that that's what I'm going to need. So there's seven inches. You're cutting it at seven inches. 
everybody's getting cut at seven inches, we do end up with a scrap. Okay, this is our scrap. Okay, let's see, is that seven inches? No, so we have to go with cutting this. Okay. Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> Three and a half. Wait a minute. These are however wide your note papers is is how your how wide your things should be. Yeah, three and a half. Okay, we're good. Wait a minute. Ah, three and a little bit. Three and a half and a little bit. Are you three and a half and a little bit? Three and a half and a little bit. Okay. So we're going with three and a half and a little bit. I only measure for you guys. I don't measure for myself. Just, just so you know. Okay, and now I can make this seven inches. All right, seven by three and a half. Now that we know what this is supposed to be, seven by three and a half and a little bit. And then we'll go to this one. Go with our three and a half and a little bit. scraps go over there and seven okay one two three four five okay they should all be the same right they should be we'll check them okay and we've got five pages you see that five five pages Okay. Okay, looks like our green needs a little trim. So go ahead. But remember that um, if your paper moves. No, oh, the day the page we picked is Jay's. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see if we're in the right direction for everybody. I think so. Okay, there we go. And I want mine to actually look like tags. So I'm going to go ahead and cut from the side. I'm going to turn this over, come over to this side, hold it. and cut. Now you can use your Cricut, your die cut, your silhouette, whatever to get your get your pieces so that they are especially all the right size. Um, I obviously am not doing that. Okay. So our next thing that we're going to do, you guys have done this before, is we are going to go ahead and cut. Okay. So we're going to cut one. And you can do this, um, but it needs to be large, any shape that you want. Okay, so there's that. Two. Three. four and five. Okay. Now we need to make our puzzle, take, take our puzzles and put them back together. Okay. So 
I'll start with the first one. top left hand corner okay next we'll go to the next one okay and on mine I can check it because I have the words there's that there's that two three Works good if you have something in there that you have that you can line up. If one of your pieces has a straight. Okay, so this one, whoop, don't want to lose any pieces. If you drop one, come back and put it on your paper, on your um, stack, so that you have it in the right direction. You see if I um, just went and put that like that, that is not how it goes. It goes like that. Okay? And little things like that will make it so your puzzle doesn't go together right. Okay? Okay. And now we have the big bottom piece. Aren't these cool? And they're big. They are big. They're going to be amazing in our journals. Okay, so we are going to be using these for the backs. Okay, and so let's go ahead. We'll start at the bottom. And we'll build it. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and glue these pieces on. Okay, now if you want a pocket on it like we did last time, you can go ahead and set your bottom piece down, glue the other pieces, and then come back and glue your bottom one down. That's what I'm actually going to do, okay? So I'm going to set my blue, my bottom one on my page, okay? And then I'm going to glue my other ones on, and I've done this with a uh, glue stick, and it worked really well. Okay, so my bottom one's on there, telling it where to where to go. Okay, and so we're going to be putting all these pieces down. And if you, you know, drop it again, then what you can do is go back and go. Oh, well, how did how did this go in there? Oh, it went that way. Okay, so um, yeah, don't be afraid to to use <laughs> it happens it happens you like oh it, it fell or you turned it around while you were gluing it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and glue my pocket down right now because otherwise it's gonna keep moving okay so I can get those two pieces on and, and glue this on as a pocket I just thought they were neat last time as a pocket so I went ahead and went up <clears throat> when I did the pocket um, I went up just a little bit so um, it's easy to get in the pocket. Okay, so let me show you. So, see there's about, uh, what, a, about a quarter of an inch there that I went up and put my pocket down. So that means I have a pocket down here. I love it because you know me, I love pockets and I cannot lie. Okay, so next we'll put this one down. And so you're going to do all five of them this way. And again, if you've got it and you're like, ah, go check it. It's okay. 
figure out where it's really supposed to go. <laughs> Same with this one. This little piece right here, that's your side. Look how pretty that looks. But most of that page was just green and we already had green with our with the masking paper. Okay. And it's possible that they, their things are not going to fit back the way that, like, right here I have a little bit of a lip. It's okay. We'll be able to cut that down, okay? But I have my tag. Um, it's a little flimsy. The weight of this is a little flimsy, but um, it's not going to be as bulky as some of the other ones that I've, that I've done. Okay, so I'm going to do all those. And then the next thing that I will do is I will go ahead and cut around my original. Cutting that little piece off that, that was um, out of whack if you need to. And if you need to go down the, the side at all. My sides were really good on this one. And then you can either leave the bottom or you can cut it off. Or you could go ahead and flip it up and have another color. I like that. Okay, it also gives you some more sturdiness along the bottom. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, you do not have to do the pocket. You do not have to do this part on the bottom. You do have to use uh, five papers. You do have to cut it into five separate pieces. You are making five large tags. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll um, decorate them. Your, your three things, but this is what we've got. And... I think it is amazing. So when I make these, I usually make all five of them uh, the same. So the decorations that I come back or that I'll use will be the same. So um, stay tuned. We'll be, we'll be doing that in just a couple minutes. This is going to give us five tags that are going to work really, really well in our journal because we've used items that came that we used in our <laughs> in our journals. Aren't they cool? Aren't they cool? So one of the things I wanted to do was to use um, some one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have just enough and. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab the tea dye, which is the other color of Distress Ink I've been using um, this time for the journal. I do have my, my brush. Let's grab an undersheet. Okay, this is a good one to actually go ahead and use something because the holes are going to show up. Okay. So, um, so we'll just go ahead and grab one of the note papers that I probably will put in the journal. And we'll just give them a a dusting of color so they're not as white. Okay. Okay. So that gets that and that counts as a stencil. So you can go ahead and save this and use it as a stencil in your journals if you like. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these on each of my tags. 
then I'm going to put the hole in it and then I will put the, the one on the other side. Now, if you've had yours, your, the hole, um, reinforcers, if you've had them for a while, you might want to go ahead and, um, glue them down. Okay. They are famous for coming up or not staying down. Okay, so that's that side. Then we'll go ahead and use the crocodile. There's a large hole on one side, a small hole on the other side. We're going to use the large hole and we'll just uh, line it up if we can see it, which I can't because okay, you can just use okay. Now I should be able to see see in through there and be able to put the hole in it. Okay, so you don't have to add a hole reinforcer. You could use an eyelet. Um, the Patreon, the Emerald Patreon's got a bunch of eyelets in there. Their, um, their packages this week. So hopefully you're starting to get those. And all different colors. Got lots of different colors. So hopefully there's something in there that you can use. Okay, this one. There we go. Okay. And then we'll turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Add the, the hole reinforcer around the hole. Don't these look nice? And I think using note papers is definitely one of my, I keep saying that. I have a lot of favorite things, but I do like to use uh, note papers. And I have quite a collection of note papers in my stash. Um, mostly the dollar ones, but a lot of the ones that are not a dollar. Their paper is so nice. I get them sometimes at Ben Franklin, sometimes at like Ross or TJ Maxx or Tuesday morning. Okay, back when I used to go out and shop and stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to want to add something to these. I think we'll go ahead and go with the large washi. Okay, the large washi that we've been using. I think that that would be a fun thing to add. And if I can add the word, I'm going to add it. So like this one that says sunshine, I'm going to add the word that says sunshine to it. But then I'm going to want it over on this side. You know what? I'm going to use that whole piece. I will clean this up, this edge up a little. Okay. This is just like some kind of berry branch or something. I don't know. So whenever we make something, we add three embellishments to it. Okay, so you could sew around this, or, or we do three things to it. So you could sew around this, and that would count. You could distress this, and that would count. I'm going to add some washi. I, I just don't think that the, the cactus goes along with what I'm doing here. So I'm not going to add the cactus. I'm going to have so many cactus. Okay, this one says sky. 
and it might have said something else too but it says sky now <laughs> so we'll go ahead and grab this piece and so I'm showing you I'm gonna do this I'm gonna use the same things but they're not gonna go in the same spots so here I want this to be right down all the way into the pocket okay so I'm gonna lift my pocket up and there I have that one okay so we got two of them two of them have their their flower let's see yeah our, our daisy we're gonna have our rose daisy I think we'll take this daisy and put it over by the rose how does that sound wine flies when you're having fun I don't think we need to put that one in here Oh, duh. I didn't want to do that yet. Okay. Where can I put it? Put it on the kitty. Hold that. <laughs> kitty, hold that. Okay. Okay, so this is the pink rose, and then it says Daisy on it, which is, just cracks me up. Okay. Um, so if we put that on the pocket on this one. I think that would be cool. Okay, so we added our whole reinforcer. Now we're adding this washi is what I'm doing. Okay, and then we have Olive Sky. That's what that one says. We've got Chill. Olive. She's such a silly puppy. That olive is a silly, silly puppy. Okay. I think we'll put it on that one. Up there at the top. And remember, you can always have things peel over onto the other side if you want to. I don't think this one is, is accepting of the peel over to the other side because it's not ripped. Okay, then, okay, we still have this piece of this one. So it kind of will. Oh, that's the pocket. I'm glad I didn't put it down. Okay. How about if we do it on this one? Yeah. Put it over here. There we go. Okay. And our next one is chill. Ripping just looks some. Uh, it just looks so much better than trying to cut things in a straight line and all that. I think to each his own, right? Okay. There's that, and we have. Oh, we have yellow. 
How did we miss that? Okay, what else do we have on the table? We want these are the the wrappers. Wrapper. Oh, there's that's that's one. There's one. Okay. So we will use all these little pieces. Let's see. I think this one needs something up here. How about, yeah, we'll just put this little one up there. Actually, this little one might look good on this. Yeah. Again, remember, we don't want, I don't want to put anything in my stash. If I can, if it can be used. Okay. If you can um, have it touching two different pieces or more. Okay, yeah, that doesn't match our, our theme here, so we'll put that up there. Um, okay. Okay, so we, I think we used all the little extra pieces. Okay, so there's what we've got there. Okay, I have, believe it or not, more of the green and white. And I have some eyelash trim that we can use for the ties on these. And um, So I'm thinking, do something like that. I'll put this one through. Okay, the two um, just, it just makes a difference when you add, instead of just one piece, you add a couple or a few. Okay, and I think we'll use our tiny attacher to put that down. Okay, so that is what, what I have. We'll do the others and I'll be right back. And here they are. We have our five large tags with our fun little toppers. I used the gingham and okay. eyelash trim. And then I did add the gold after, after the one that I had already made, I added the gold into the rest. So there we have them. So this is our mini challenge in the challenge. And we are using five scrap scrap papers five large scrap papers we're making large tags so the dimensions were in the beginning of the the video i believe they were three and a half by seven oh three and a half and a little bit so that they would fit on the note paper so you are to use like a note paper like this if you don't have one then you can go ahead and use something else for your backing um, I really like these because they're 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 still really nice, but they're not super bulky. Okay, so um, and you have the choice. You can make yours with the pocket or without. I love pockets, and I cannot lie. So mine has pockets. Ooh, it has a little pocket right here, little pocket. But that's okay. That's okay. So there you go. We have large tags for our mini challenge in the challenge 3.222 so your deadline for this will be the 21st of march and we'll have a new mini challenge in, cha in the challenge on that day so yeah remember your mini challenge in the challenge you can make for the challenge journal that we're putting together right now or this can be for any other project that you have out there or for happy mail as well so there you go
And here's a look at today's featured digitals. Remember, the digitals are on sale for 50% off through March 15th in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. So let's take a look. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Daisy Kits. So I have several Daisy Kits in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Remember, they're on sale. So we have the Daisy Quote um, Digital Kit. And they are a variety of quotes that, have, um, that are about daisies and from various... Um, various people and we have them in formats so that they are on pages we have them like this that you can cut them out and we do have them smaller so these are the pages and I uh, apparently I was out of black ink so they came out purple okay um, so this is the tag page, okay? So if you're doing Traveler's Notebook size, um, you get a couple of tags. You get them with borders, okay? So with the borders, more pages, and more um more quotes okay so there you go so that's daisy quotes and it's fun to have those just to add in and um you'll recognize most of the people this is antique daisy this is an ephemera kit okay so it's just daisy ephemera okay you get some field note daisies you get the anatomy of a flower, kinds of leaves, parts of flowers. She's in a field of daisies. You get some things to fussy cut. Okay, let's turn this over. <laughs> and you get the daisy postcard. I paid more for that than I've paid for almost any card or set of cards. <laughs> But I thought it, I mean, I love daisies. Daisies are my favorite flower. And so, okay, so you get this one. You get, to, you see there, there's that one. You get a pillow. This is just a lot of fun. So this is Antique Daisy. And it's ephemera. And then you get it smaller. Okay. And smaller. Okay, so if you like the little tiny pieces, this is a great, great kit. So, antique daisy all ephemera all ephemera so you have daisy quotes and antique daisy so far um let's go to daisy field okay so daisy field has jeez I, I don't has these so these cards, this is a, a page. This is a wallet page. You get the image that is on the merchandise. The Dear Julie Julie merchandise has this, um, this image. You get the library card and the envelope. They're on the same page, so they will fit no matter what size you print that. You get some daisy pages, that's a daisy postcard, or the mini journal kit. You can use those postcards in your mini journal kit. This one's a big kit. 
Okay, there's Daisy with her jump rope made out of daisies. So her daisy chain jump rope. Okay, let's see how far we go in that direction. <laughs> Whoop, that's colorful daisies. That's enough. Okay, so this does have some of the colorful daisies in it, so this kit will go with the colorful daisy kit. So more pages, more pages. There's those those labels again. There's Daisy. Kids, the field with the daisies. There's Daisy. I mean, it is a huge variety of pages and ephemera. You get your large tags. You can use that um, for your Traveler's Notebook, you get the big square. Use that to make an envelope if you want or as a page. More large tags. More postcards. Posts, uh, actually, this is the mini journal kit right here. You can tell the mini journal kit because they have eight. And what they are is the side-by-side -side pages um, smaller and the pages. Okay, so there you go. All that. Here's another page for your pages. Here's the ephemera smaller and that is colorful daisies. Okay, but where Daisy is, that is part of Daisy Field. Okay, love this page, love this page. Okay, so you can see it's a big kit. Lots of fun, fun things. That's colorful, Daisy. <laughs> okay, so Daisy Field, huge kit, lots of fun, very springy, and um, yeah, so you can look up on YouTube, Daisy, Dear Julie, Julie, and you're going to get a lot of stuff because daisies are my favorite. And we do have quite a few daisy kits. So next I'm going to show you more daisies. Okay, and so more daisies is pages and ephemera that work with uh, really well with antique daisy. Okay, and this is the mini journal kit. You get the Daisy Dale, um, the whole song. Okay, isn't that, isn't that pretty? Using the, the collage page. There's the mini, the little tiny journal, mini journal kit. And these are tiny mini journal kits here. You also get the um, dance card, okay? So this is the front of the dance card. This is the inside, and this is the inside of the dance card. Okay, so an antique dance card. More, these are the pages. And um, I did a video where I showed you how I use the daisy quotes on these pages. It worked out really well. Isn't that cool? So these are the pages. I love this one. That's the cover of the dance card. There's the dance card again. Beautiful daisies. Okay, so lots of side-by-side -side pages. And remember, when a, you have a really full digital kit like this, you don't have to um, print the whole thing. You print what you want. Here's the wallets. Okay, it's got that. Oh, look at those. Mm, love it. Mini journal kit. Postcards. Get the postcards. 
we've got postcards in this direction. Okay, there's the front and the back of the dance card. There's the inside. And there's the, or this is the front, this is the back, and this is the inside. Okay. Get some large, just pages. There's the daisy. I love that. Oh, get it on an angle. Here you get a piece that you can um, do the fold over. And you get the large music page. And that is in the wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And these are my working from when I was um, making the digital. But that is more daisies, pages and ephemera. It has the daisy dance card. And... Um, yeah, it goes really, really good with the with the antique daisy. Okay, um, so we have colorful daisies. You've been seeing them all along. This is a pages and ephemera kit, and it is the bright daisies. Okay, so you get big pages, wallets postcards, tags, all the fun things, and side-by-side -side pages. It's a big kit, and um, we, we've made, we made several things out of this. Okay, so that's Colorful Daisy. And then this one is Daisy, Daisy Grunge. This is one of the Ecotide kits, and it is actually... The daisies from Colorful Daisies. Um, Eco dyed along with the grungy lace. So after I eco dyed, I, um, I took the eco dyeing water and I did lace paper. So this is Daisy Grunge. Let's see, there's one of the pink flowers. You get side by side. And then you get ephemera. And you get more ephemera. You get the, the brown and the, the more black with the pink ended up having like two different sets of colors. So you had these that were pink with the, with the black and you had these that were more brown. So Daisy Grunge. Love, love, <clears throat> excuse me. Love it. Okay, so it's huge. You get ephemera like this. You get tags. These are printed on coffee dyed paper. So, yeah, so that's Daisy Grunge. And the, there's one more. So I do have the um, Lace Grunge. Okay, so this is the wallet page. This is a great background kit um, to use on the backs, the pages can be used on the backs of your your projects. Um, I wanted to show you summer daisies, but apparently I don't have any of it um, left. So there we go. This is Lace Grunge. Okay, so it's a pages and ephemera kit. You get all the different sizes of ephemera and you get these images as pages. So ephemera, you'll get tags. You'll get 
postcards, wallets. Uh, this one has the bookmarks, which is the four smaller pieces. Okay. But there are also full-size pages, which I've, I've used. So remember, these are my working folders that I actually use the, um, the pages out of. So this has been a really popular um, background page and then these um, work really well as well. So that one's called Lace Grunge. You saw Daisy Grunge. Of course, this goes really well with Daisy Grunge. It works really well with any of the antique Daisy, the More Daisy um, digital kit. So the Summer Daisies, if you want to check that out in the Etsy shop, it is the one that has the black and white polka dots then the red and yellow and green are the main colors, so it looks a little uh, like Mary Inglebright, kind of. Those are the digital. Okay, I wanted to add one more thing. So I have gone ahead, I've made stamp pages out of the um, mini embellishments. And these pages are available to the Patreons. And it's just something special that I do. And I make them so that there's enough room that I can go in and, or we can, go in and cut around the stamps. I'm like, do I want a big stamp? I think I want a big stamp. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Luckily, I've got five big stamps. Okay. So, um, so the Patreons have the digital one sheet of each of these waiting for them in the Patreon. And that is one of their perks that they will get uh, some extra digitals. All Patreons do get some digitals each month, depending on what their perk is. Okay, so we'll just go around and cut these and have them ready to go in. I'm using my postage scissors. And so the ones I'm making here actually have the you know, the, the digital is attached. Um, the digital, of course, is a copy of what you see here. And I will have the digital that I can use as well for these stamps if I want to uh, make more of them. So this is the assorted floral digital that I'm using here. And the assorted floral did have a mini ephemera page, pages that had the small ephemera that we, I purposely make it so that we can make stamps out of our our items. Okay, so and I still have all those that I'll be able to cut up and use. There is in the in the Patreon there's also the one with the birds and I went around them with the gold pin. And then there is this part of the assorted flowers. Okay, so all of those waiting for the Patreons. And I think we'll go ahead and they could hang. Ooh, that might be kind of cool. I think we're going to do that. I think we'll hang them just because it's something a little different. I'm going to just grab a piece of book page. Line these up. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, and I think next we'll grab the the crocodile and we'll add our our holes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use some I'm gonna have to grab from over here. This is from an from an older kit. These are these were on my desk, so I can go ahead and use this. Okay, so I don't even remember which kit this is from, but there, that's gonna give me give me some things that I can use. I'm gonna go ahead and add a hole and I'll put got a star. <laughs> okay, we'll clamp that down. And you can either add, like, use a little safety pen or a bulb pen and add this to the top of your tag, okay? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this in the tag, okay? Okay, and there I've got a little flippy stamp. Okay, so we um, canceled it with our cancellation, and there we go. And then we've still got the pocket that we can go ahead and add something to. Okay, so you can add a tag in here if you wanted. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so I will be doing the rest of these. And so there, that is going to be my finished tags. And here they are finished. I've added the stamp, little stamp flippy tag thingy to them. And I love the way they turned out. So we took our five large pages and we made our tags attaching it to a note paper. We added our little uh, hole reinforcer, our uh, tag topper here, uh, our tag tassel, love it. And we added in some washi. Some of them got one, some of them got two pieces of washi. Um, and then we made our little stamp, canceled it, added the eyelet, and it attached it to the tag with um, the bulb pin. Now we, I chose to make pockets, so I will be coming back in and adding some type of tag into my pockets. I think we'll go ahead, I'm gonna put these two in those two because um, some of the things that I ordered on uh, eBay came with these as the backings and I was like, oh, well the, the color is perfect for this particular journal. So those are my five tags and this is my entry for the mini challenge in the challenge 3.322. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having an amazing day. Just don't forget the tomorrow at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Check your time because Pacific Standard Time, we did move our clocks ahead one hour. So I don't want you to miss the craft with me at 1 o'clock Tuesday, March 15th. Um, also remember the digitals are still on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop for 50% off. And if you are a diamond or emerald Patreon, use your coupon code for 70% off your order of digitals in the shop. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. See if we can find the end. Okay, our map is is smaller. Our 
map is smaller. I don't, I, I mean, 